Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial Guide. In this video, now I'm going to show you how to fix corrupted or damaged SD card or pen drive, so which is not detected on your computer or else in your smartphone. So from this, we can easily fix out that particular damage of SD card or pen drive. So from this tutorial, we are using a three simple step to fix out that corrupted SD card or pen drive. So first of all, first step is we are going to use assigning a drive letter and uh, we have to change the drive letter so most of the windows won't recognize if your device doesn't have drive letters first thing here you can find so the drive letter would nothing but here the f would be known as the drive letter so if your device doesn't have that drive letter means it won't be detected so uh, i don't know why this usb drive has been created so it would be unusable so let's i'm using on this fat32 ultra otg so here let's you can find fat32 so let, let's my device is working perfectly so for this tutorial as i'm using as i'm showing how to you how you can easily fix out that if your device is completely corrupted or damaged so here so first thing what we have to do we have to assign a drive letter so just just go press window key plus r and uh, it would open the run box and just type out the disk mgmt.msc and select okay now it would be open the disk management tool change the drive letter of the disk 2 so i don't know why this one has been created so i can't be able to remove that one because so just we have to neglect out this so let's i'm here let's i'm going to use this disk 2 removable disk alone so here so let's what you have to do just go to right click on it so disk 2 would be the removable storage that would be showing here so disk 2 would be the removable storage so look out here so here so one thing just yes, right here so here so disk 2 would be the mine external pen drive so here so just right click on it and select change drive letter or pause so let's here just select the add button or uh, if your device doesn't assign a drive letter means if your device is already assigned this drive letter means so just leave out this and try out the next step so if your device doesn't have that assigned drive letter means just select add button and from this so you can easily add using the assign the following drive letter so that's all so if you want to change your drive letter means just select on change and just select h so let's I'm going to assign a drive letter as H. So, so it's showing some program that rely on drive letters may not run correctly. Do you want to continue? Just select S. So here, here we go. The drive letter has been changed right now. So afterwards it would automatically detect like this. So your de your device doesn't have proper drive letter means after changing the drive letters or after assigning the drive letters it would automatically detect that so the first fix has been completed so then after what we have to do so let's jump to second step so let's we have what we have to do so just uninstall that drive letter sorry just uninstall the drivers of your connected usb pen drive or sd card so let's what you have to do just type on search or start just type disk manager so here so or else just go to the control panel so from this uh, if you are using windows means you can easily find out the disk manager or else go to control panel and search for D and from this you can find out the device manager here just right, uh, double click on it afterwards the device manager window would be open so just um, search out for the disk drives so here you can find the SanDisk Ultra USB so you can just Install these drivers, just select OK. So, then after, if you want to install your pen drive driver, just unplug it. So, here we go. 
so here we go here you can't find out my pen drive so just replug it and afterwards it would automatically install the device drivers so let's here you can find so device is working perfectly so then after what we have to do we need to jump to if if this setup would be fixed means you can easily quit the video or else if the de if this setup would be not helpful means just go to the third step of this video because we are supplying some kinds of command to fix out so just what you have to do just type cmd on your search bar or else press windows key plus r so let's say don't uh, run this because we are going to run as administrator so just cmd on your search bar and uh, just right click on it and select right run as administrator so here here we go so from this we are going to fix using that disk part command so let's here you can find the command window would be open so just what we have to do so if you're first assigning a drive letter first is simple step the assigning the drive letter or the changing drive letter would not helpful and uh, the second step if your device drivers after installing your device drivers it still won't detect it mean just we have to try this the universal method in this video so this would be maximum mo most of the device corrupted device would be fixed using this method alone so let's what you have to do just type this part so just type this part so here now it would be this part has been opened so just type list disk so here we go so disk 0 so here we are having so disk 0 would be the our internal hard drive so disk 1 so let's uh, this would be on so just I'm going to explain with the disk management tool so here so disk 0 would be the our internal hard drive so we don't have to touch any of this partition so disk 1 don't know why it would, has been created so I can't able to even eject this I can't able to even format so I don't have to think about because there is no disk in drive G so I don't have to think about this so let's we have to move with disk 2 so let's this 2 would be the the our corrupted or damaged D called our pen drive so let's what you have to do just you have to type out the command select disk 2 so it would be showing that disk 2 is now selected so what we have to do we are going to erasing all of our data which is present inside this MSD card so here we are going to delete entire files from this SD card because we are using a command called clean which means it would be formatting our SD card so what we have to do just type clean so here we go we have clean our SD card that means we even doesn't create a partition on it so here we go so let's here you can find it would be showing unallocated that means it this disk 2 would be doesn't have any kinds of primary partition so look out here unallocated and the primary partition so if your device doesn't have primary partition on mean windows even not detected so let's we have to create a primary partition on that disk drive alone so just type create primary primary partition so we have select the disk 2 and we have clean the disk and we have erase everything from that partition so just go and back up all of your data and just then after just select create primary partition So we have to take create prime partition primary so here we go here you can find it would be showing healthy primary partition has been created right now so
so then after what you have to do so we have created a primary partition on that hard drive alone so so we have to select out the partition one so the partition now has selected and we have to format as fat32 fs so like so we have to format this partition as fat32 because the the external hard pen drive would be detected as fat32 so let's as, as i have already shown what the file system which is available on my external otg so that means my pen driver is recon so just type format fs equals to fat for a fat 32 you don't have to make a space on that just select s now it would be showing zero percent complete or showing one percent formatting right here so look out this After completion of the formatting process, now your device is recognized by Windows because we have created a new partition that, that means a primary partition and we have completely clean the bad sector on that uh, corrupted uh, SD card or pen drive because this method would be the most suitable for fixing the corrupted SD card. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye bye.